But let's, I want to talk about a couple of things, you know. And if I'm out in public, you know, something I get frequently asked, something I get frequently asked as a, as a, as, a, as an artist, and I don't understand it. It's it's uh, you know, for advice. You know, and people always say, you know, yo, bro, hey, yo, how do I? What's an advice you could give an upcoming artist? You know, um, what what genre? I mean, not genre. What advice could you give an up and coming artist? And um, you know, I want to talk about that for a second. I, w- I want to talk about what what advice could I give someone who wants to do music? You know, I think it's I think it's extremely important. I think it's extremely important to to take a couple of things into consideration. You know, one thing is, it's a few things you gotta come take into consideration with yourself. And that's why are you doing music? You know, like, what, like are you doing, what, what's your reasoning for? What you looking for out of it? Who are you trying to approach? Who, what, who is your audience? You know, who are you, who are you trying to, what crowd are you trying to reach? You have to understand, you have to find these things out first, you know, like these things you have to understand within yourself first, you know, and then it's a few things. The most important thing to me about getting noticed or becoming seen are creativity, you know, it's it's so important. So many people, whether we're talking about hip hop, rap, pop, whatever we're talking about, so many, let's talk rap first. So many people in rap and hip hop are so similar sonically, visual, visually, so, so similar. You know, chains, skinny, Lamiris, or whatever it is, whatever is cool, Montclair jacket, or Dior jacket, or Dior shirt, or you know what I'm saying? It's so similar. Goldyard bags, now we got Goldyard bags, whatever the case may be, you know, Diamond Grill. Similar. You know, and whoever's at the top, everyone under just kind of copies. You know, if you want to be seen, you know, it's it's a couple ways. Now, there are people who are really talented in the industry who are just undeniably talented. You're undeniably talented. That's It is what it is. You're fucking talented. You're good at what you do. And there are people who are really cool. Really cool to look at, kind of like a gimmick, you know, like they're really, or they're really entertaining, you know, not not the best musically, but it's, just, it's, an, it's an entertainment business, you know, so like they're really entertaining. So you can be really entertaining. You know, how many people, you know, think about all the people you know who's an artist who you don't really even know they fucking music, but you know them, they're a celebrity in your eyes, or they're kind of famous, you know, because they're entertaining, or they're in the news more so for some bullshit or some corny shit than it is their music. I'm saying what you can still make a living off that, depending on what you're trying to do. You can still make some money, still eat, feed your family, live good, travel around the world, whatever the fuck it may be, you know? So it's either you could be very talented, you could be a great entertainer, you know what I'm saying? Or it's all about what you have to offer. What do you have to offer? You know what I'm saying? Like, like you have to bring originality. You know, you have to bring originality. You have to bring something that makes you, you, you know, when I started in 2016, 2015, when I was coming into this game, there weren't many artists like us. You know, it was me. First, it was Cardi. You know, I I came in the game looking up. You know, I was looking up to Cardi. You know, I thought Cardi was sick. You know, before any of this, before I was in high school, leaving high school, you know, I was going to Cardi shows. I was going to Cardi shows in the city. You know, just as a fan. You know, I never forget. I was rapping. Fucking, I'm gonna tell y'all a story how I met Cardi. I'm gonna tell y'all a story how I met Cardi. Right? Fucking. He had a show with awful records at a at a small venue called Terminal West, I think. Some shit here in Atlanta, some real, real, real small shit. You know, and it was an awful records concert. And I went with J Bands. I mean, J Bands went right out of school, I think, or I had just graduated or something. I don't know. He had just got out of school. I ain't job though. J Bands took me. You know what I'm saying? And and and, and uh, um, and I never get. We couldn't get in the fucking show. 
We couldn't even get in the fucking show. I don't know if it was because we wasn't old enough or we couldn't get in the show. Couldn't get in the concert. I think we weren't old enough. You know, I was probably like 16 or 17. Um, and, and I was outside the show. We sat outside the show and we sat and we just sat, we sat the entire night fucking waiting. I don't know what the fuck we were doing, but we were outside the show. I never get Cardi came out. This is young Cardi. Y'all don't even, none of y'all even know nothing about this Cardi. Young Cardi come out. Fucking, I think he had like two bitches with him. He might have been with Ian. I don't remember. He had two bitches. Well, I knew Ian at the time. He had two bitches with him, I think. And uh, me and Jay Van was sitting at the car. And I never get, he walked past. He's like, he's like, what's up, bro? <laughs> I'm like, what's up? He was like, yeah, I know who you is. I fuck with you. Da, 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 da. You know what I'm saying? And it's funny, it was kids, who were children, you know what I'm saying? He had, he had real, real, real tiny braids, real, I mean, dreads. He had real, real tiny dreads, you know what I'm saying? And that was the first time we met, and I met him again um, outside of another awful show um, in the city, but in the back of somebody's house. And this was all 2015, um, you know? Um, anyways, I'm going off track, but anyways, like, in this time period, Cardi was doing his thing. And then, you know, me and Uzi started coming up. And at the time, there wasn't anyone like us. There was Uzi and me, and that was it. You know, on SoundCloud, it was me and Uzi and Cardi, right? And, and then once we, it, and it started off as an underground thing, but when it started getting a little bigger and mainstream, and we started actually getting the fucking hate in the world, you know, it started becoming this thing like all oh, these bubblegum, SoundCloud, whatever the fuck niggas want to call us, was like, shipped in the culture and fucking shit up because it was like undone before the shit that we was talking about the way our music sounded the way our beat sounded the color like it was colorful we had color in our hair the way we was dressing you know what i'm saying so like it was such an original thing to do in 2015 2016 to have colored hair and and dress like this and you know like who's first nigga doing it and then five six years went by and it just got so saturated you know, it got so saturated and everybody in the game started doing it to a point where it's like not original no more, you know? You got to be original. You got to think of – you got to find a way to – Juice was original, man. Juice didn't sound like nobody but Juice. Trippy had came in after his Trippy. You sound like Trippy. And I'm just thinking about talking about all the people that came in after us. It's like these guys are so – man, they're killing it. I'm so happy for all these kids. You know what I'm saying? Like, trippy Red fucking Juice was killing it. I, I love it. I love it. So talented. Fucking love it, man. Rest in peace of Juice. Trippy is a legend. Love Trippy Red shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, you got to be creative, man. All that, you know, all that, like, just like, niggas do the bare minimum. Niggas do the bare minimum when it comes to being a musician. It's like, okay, you shot a video. You record a song, you shot a video, and then what? Then you posted it. And now with you in somebody comment sections or you DMing an artist telling him to check out your music. Now you tweeting, now you spam tweeting under my tweet your new link. Right? Because that's how you're going to get it. Man, you got to access and utilize all these platforms out here, man. It's insane the way this TikTok shit is going on. But you don't want to be a TikTok rapper. You know what I'm saying? TikTok rappers, you don't even know their face. You just know they... You know they song. How many songs you on TikTok that will go? They be going through your head. They be going through your head. And you don't even know who the fuck made it. Like man, I that song, but you don't know who the fuck made it. That's a TikTok rapper. You know the song, but you don't even know who the fuck made the song. You don't want to be one of them. You never want your song to be bigger than you. You know, and you never want your song to be bigger than you as a person, as an artist. You know. It's just super important, man. Creativity, originality, and thinking outside the box. It doesn't, I know, I've met so many guys that get discouraged and think you gotta have money. Think it takes money. It's not about money, man. It's not about money. You know, this is about creativity. It does not take money to, 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 to make an amazing video. Man, I wish I could fucking add Tyler on here to talk about that Yonkers video, man. I'll never forget seeing a Yonkers video in eighth grade. I'll never forget it. You know what I'm saying? That Yonkers video, he didn't, he, it's one room. He's sitting in front of a white backdrop. He's sitting in front of a white backdrop on a stool. Some fake gold chains on. You know what I'm saying? But it was, the, it was, the, it was so different though, you know? 
the black contacts, eating a cockroach, and then tying his fucking self up with a noose and hanging from it. You know? It was unlike anything we had ever seen. But it didn't cost him. It didn't cost him a shit ton of money. It was originality. It was his creativity. It was his brain. And that's what it takes. That's what these things take. You know, even as far, even down to what you're talking about in your music. And I'm not saying you got to go and be fucking MF Doom, but I'm saying like switch it up a little some way. You know what I'm saying like you have to, you have to set yourself apart. If we're trying to play pickup ball and everybody got the same skill set, everybody got the same moves, shit, you're just going to be looking at a row and it's like, uh, it really don't matter who I pick because y'all all the same. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he did get a lot of hate, but where is he now? As long as you, you can get as much hate as you want, as long as you turn that hate into success, because that's hate is still attention. If you if people taking the time to hate on you, if people taking their time to hate on you, then that means you are doing something right. You got that attention. If you got their attention, you need to turn it into something. How you start is not how you finish. You feel me? So yeah, they hating what? They excuse, excuse me. They hating so what? You know what I'm saying? You got to turn that hate into something else. Because where's Tyler now? Tyler is killing it. Man, who hating on Tyler now? He's got two Grammys. Two fucking Grammys, dipshit. Congratulations, Tyler. Congratulations, baby fucking King, man. Congratulations, baby King. Congratulations, Tyler. Congratulations, little baby. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We ain't congratulating Kanye because he got 6,000 Grammys. That's nothing to him. Congratulations to all the newly win the all the newly winners. All the new winners, man. You know, congratulations. Man. Um Yeah, I had to get that off because I don't know if anybody was listening. I don't know if it affected anybody anyway, but man, you gotta you gotta use your brain in this shit, bro. Cause it's, it, it, everything goes hand in hand. You know, your your visuals are just as important as your sonics, as your audio. You know, it, it's all gotta it's all got to make sense. It's all got to make sense. You know? I don't know. I don't know. It's all got to make sense. You know? Um, I've been thinking about, like, I'm just going to change. I'm going to jump topics. I'm going to jump topics. Um, I'm going to some other shit. I love sneakers.